Good morning to the house. No. Hold in my lap bag. Oh. Hiya, absolutely terrible, terrible timing. I need to leave in one minute. Sorry, so I'll call you back later, okay? Bye. Me and Ellie are gonna go and look at our first possible new house. Oh, Ellie. Good morning. Hello. How you feeling? the address of the house is. <laughs> yeah. No. Wow, jeez, these rooms are massive. Yeah. Look what we found. so old in my life. I know. <laughs> but now I'm We're having a quick lunch at Wagamama's and then we're gonna head back. So getting in from after today, I took a bunch of photos and they look something like this. So I would kind of thought that I should put photography into the kind of theme for today's vlog. I want to tell you a bit of the difference between digital and film cameras and well the difference to me anyway. So a digital camera looks like this. When you take a photo with a digital camera it sounds like this. Pretty satisfying huh? I pretty much use these cameras for everything. They are my babies. I mean my life depends on these cameras. I use these cameras for professional work and I pretty much take them everywhere with me. Just take videos and photos and just you can fit so much on one thing and you can get so much out of your life with this one thing. With this camera though, I don't feel like I'm capturing memories. And so this is where a film camera comes in. Film cameras sound like this when you take a photo. That's even more satisfying. See, so the main difference between digital and film cameras is that one of them can take a ton of photos and one of them you have to be very, very selective over what photos you are going to take because unlike these, these have a roll of about 24 to 30 photos that you can fit on it, which means that every single photo that you take is gonna cost you money, which means you have to put a hell of a lot more thought and a hell of a lot more creativity into the way that you take photos with these. With a digital camera, you can pretty much do this. Work it, yes. Gorgeous. But the film camera, you pretty much have to go, okay, that looks good, that looks good. I'm gonna need to get down low, maybe a little bit further back. I have to switch the aperture up to that, okay. Right there and perfect photo. When you have the lens cap off anyway. Basically the difference between the digital cameras and these is that for these, it forces you to be creative. So it's these, and actually compact flash cameras as well. A compact flash camera sounds like this. It's not satisfying at all, it's just like a click. Both of these I use to capture memories because I know that that one photo that I will have taken at that one moment will mean something to me and I will have wanted to take it for a reason rather than just burst shooting on a digital camera. Which is why with these cameras, I call the photos from these cameras memories a lot more 
than most digital cameras. So there you have it, that's the difference between digital and film photography. Film photography you have to be a lot more creative and in the moment. Digital photography you can take a hell of a lot more photos and do a lot more with them. Ultimately it depends on what is going to get the job done. And for the majority of my photography, I will continue to use this incredibly cheap thing for many, many years to come. I feel Two things. First thing, I think I should give you a little bit of an update on where we are with the house at the minute. We went to go see a house today, it was really nice, but it's a little bit of a trek away, so we've still got a few more house viewings coming up. We got in touch with the landlord and they actually just changed agencies, so basically the agency called us and said, yes, you can still have the house, so I'll talk to you about it tomorrow. So we're going to hear back from them tomorrow, which is, uh, everything is happening very, very fast. And the second thing is, you should be proud of me, I didn't buy any ice cream today. Yeah! Can you, can you, can you, can you?